Most age year with Israel United in Christ, also known as IUIC. And we come to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans that you guys are the chosen people of the Most High, right? Also known as the Israelites. Have y'all heard of Israel before? All right. What's your nationality? Are y'all black, Hispanic? Are y'all Israelites, Jews? You say you're black, African American. You say you black. Say it again. Black and Asian. Okay. <laughs> so first thing we gotta learn is what does God call us, right? So you say you mix pretty much. What's your father? Give me numbers one and eighteen. What's your father? Is he black or is he Asian? You don't know. Okay. What's your mama? Is your mama black or Asian? All right. So you said your mama is black and your daddy is Asian, right? So what about you, young lady? Is your father black, Asian, white? What is he? Black. What about most of y'all? Black? black? All right. So I'm going to show you, thus saith the Lord, that according to the Bible, there's no such thing as mixed. Now, you do may have an Asian father and a black mother, but you are who your father is, according to the Bible. I'm going to show you that. I know the world tells you, hey, if you got two different parents, you mix. But according to the Bible, you are what your father is because he has the seed. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So similar to how we are right now, the nation of Israel assembled themselves together. That means they came together, just like how y'all are now. We came together and did what? Read. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So they declared, meaning they stated who they were, their pedigree. That means your bloodline, your lineage. That's what a pedigree is. A pedigree is a bloodline of lineage. Y'all may have heard that term before of somebody breeding dogs, right? You may say, what's that pedigree of that dog or that pit bull or that rock roller, right? The pedigree is the lineage, meaning who's the parents, who's the father. So we, the nation of Israel, we gathered ourselves together like now, how y'all gathered as a group, then we declared our pedigree, which is what? Read on. By the house of their fathers. By the house of who? By the house of their fathers. So your pedigree is determined by your father. Your lineage, your ancestors, is determined by your father. So, young lady, what's your name? Trinity. So, Trinity, your pedigree will be Asian, right? If that's who your father is, right? And then the young lady right here said black or African American. That's who your lineage will be. Most of y'all lineage will be from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. Not black or not African, but the tribe of Judah. Thus saith the Lord, right? So, your pedigree is who your father is. Not you mix or your mother because the father has the seed. Then your father plants that seed inside your mother. Then from your mother, she grows you, right? You grow inside your mother, she nourishes you, and then you're born, you're birthed. And then that's when you come out. But you are who your father is, thus saith the Lord. So there's no such thing as being mixed or biracial. You are who your father are. You just might come out looking slightly different than what your father may be if he sleeps with somebody outside of his nation. So... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's what happens in our community. Give me Deuteronomy 73. So you are who your father is. There's no such thing as biracial. There's no such thing as mixed. If your father's African-American, so-called, that's what you are. If your father's so-called white, that's what you are. If your father's so-called Asian, that's what you are. Your mother nourishes that seed that comes from the man, and then you're born. But you are, you are who your father is. Right. There's no such thing as mixed or biracial. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 73. So, according to the Lord, should there be mixed or biracial people? Let's see if the Bible. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Neither shall thou make marriages, thou shalt not give unto his son. Read that from the top. I want a specific word. Read. Neither shall thou make marriages with... Neither shall thou make what? Marriages with so marriages. Neither shall we make marriages. Now today you don't see that a lot in our communities. Most of our parents aren't married in our community. Most of the time they single, right? Most of the time they baby mamas, baby daddies. Most of the time they jump offs, thoughts, right. right? That's not normal in our community to be husband and wife. But in the Bible said, do not make marriages with these other nations. Why? Because God divided up the nations. And this nation, stick with that nation. This nation, stick with your nation. So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are to stick with your nation. There should not be biracial or mixed. 
Everybody should stick with their nation, thus saith the Lord. Right. He said not to, and why? Read. Excuse me. Neither shall I make marriages with them, thy daughter that shall not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall I take unto that son. Uh -huh. For they will turn away that son from following me. So what would happen if we were to mix with the other nations? Read. That they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. So when you look around, you see us in a destroyed estate. Why is that? It just said it because we love interracial marriages. Or in, in today's society, interracial relationships. Right. Because marriages are normal in the so-called black community. How often do you hear of us getting married? Not often. And if you do, they're about 35, 40 years old. She done slept with 3, 10, 15 men. He done got a couple baby mamas. Now they finally decide to settle down. But that's if the Lord, it was never meant to be so. Right. It was never meant to be so. My young sisters, my young brothers. Yes, sir. My young brothers, my young sisters. What does Christ look like? Because knowing who Christ lived of importance and some type of self-worth, then you understand the importance of marriage and lineage. But if all you consider yourself is African-American or a Negro, you will never have that self-confidence. So what does Christ look like? Who can tell me? No, I can tell me what Christ looked like. Who all went to church? Got pictures here. Use the picture. Yes, sir. Who all went to church? So most of us went to church, right? Who did y'all see hanging up on this wall? Come closer. Who did y'all see hanging up on this wall? When y'all went to church, when grandma took you to church, who did y'all see hanging up? Point out the picture for me. Yeah, Christ was hanging up. What did he look like? Which picture are you pointing? Go ahead, touch it. There you go. Okay. So, does Christ look like that according to the Bible? Let's see who else agrees with it. Yes, sir. I seen you pointing at it. Who else agrees with this image right here? This is what the young man pointed at right here. What he's seen in church. Who else agrees with that? You agree with it. You agree with it. Anybody disagree with it? All right. Well, I'm going to show you this. See if the Bible. This is not how Jesus Christ really looks. That's, That's right. a lie. That's right. Jesus Christ is a so-called black man like you and I. Right. He was not a so-called Caucasian man. That's if the Bible. Give me Revelations 1 and 14. Start at verse 1. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It said the revelation. The root word of revelation is reveal. So the revealing of Jesus Christ. Why does he need to be revealed? Because he's distorted today. He's lied upon. He's been covered up today. Today y'all believe that he's a white man. So I must come out here and reveal to you that Christ is like you, myself, and you, young man. That's Christ right. is like the so-called Negroes of today. I must reveal him to you because you've been lied to. Jump down to 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said his hairs and his head on his hair was white like wool. So if you look right here. And right here, that's the hairs on my face, was white in color and woolly in texture. Who has woolly like hair today? Bring it out! Who? Nobody on this earth have woolly like hair today? Who has seen a sheep before? All y'all seen sheep? Now, who on this planet Earth people have sheep like hair? We do. There you go. Our people. We do. The so-called Negroes. Look at your hair. Look at your hair. Look at my hair. That's woolly like hair. Y'all say y'all seen the sheep before. They have very curly fur, very curly hair. So Christ has very curly hair, and it was white like snow. Right. Yes, sir. Yep. Take a look at that. And look at his hair. It matches that. Look at that wool. That's the so-called Negro hair. Woolly. I know you've been told your hair is nappy. I know you've been told that you can't manage it. Guess what? You got God-like hair. That's your right. hair is alive. That's why it's so hard to manage. You gotta take care of that thing. You can't just leave it out there like these other nations that have striped, stringy hair. You must take care of it. You must water it, nurture it. And then it rises and it grows to the sun because it's alive. Right. And Christ, guess what? He has white, woolly hair just like you all. Christ, the greatest man ever walked this earth, have hair like you. You must know that and learn that. Why? Because you need self-worth and self-understanding. Otherwise, this image right here, who like the same man that has oppressed and destroyed our people, that's who you will pray to. But finish reading that. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now his eyes was as a flame of fire, not like Cyclops. His eyes was as a flame of fire because 
he liked to drink wine. Who can tell me Christ's first miracle? Anybody know Jesus Christ's first miracle? There you go, young man. Christ's first miracle was turning water into wine. Right. Read that again. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes turned red. Why? From drinking in moderation. We all know once we sip a little bit of strong drink, guess what happened to our eyes? What happened to your father's and your uncle's eyes? They turned red. Young man, don't toss nothing at them. Stay in order, all right? We over here, we building. Stay in order, young man. Christ had red-like eyes from drinking wine. Right. That's why. Not because he was Cyclops or some mythical creature. No, it's from drinking wine like your fathers and your uncles. When they drink a little bit, their eyes turn red. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Who can tell me the color of brass? What color is that? There you go, brown. Who agree with that? Brass is the color of brown. Okay. Anybody see a penny before? There you go. What color is that? Copperish, right? So brass is a similar of a brown hue or brown tone. So Christ, his skin is brown-like, right? And what else? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now you take that brown color, that brass-like color, then you burn it. What color does it turn? You burn it. You burn anything, what color does it turn? There you go. So Christ was a black, black man, a dark-skinned brother. He just wanted no light-skinned brother. Christ was black, black, blue, black. That's the Messiah, Jesus of Christ. Right. A dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as you all. So does Christ look like this, my young no. brothers and sisters? No. no. There you go. There you go. That's what he looked like. This is what he looked like right here. Not that so-called Caucasian man that they told you. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.